What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel with a brand new video. Now, oh, I'm stuck on top. I want to open start this video heading to the gym in the car. But getting ready this morning, I realised I've forgotten some bits. Hello mister, who's this? This duck? Oh, you brought me duck. Hello. Again. <laughs> um, where was I? And not the end of the world, left some bits here. But what is the end of the world is I forgot the most important thing for me and that is my pre-workout so I'm gonna quickly take two scoops of that grab these bits and head to the gym now I know pre-workout isn't the most important thing but for me it's definitely a major help more so more so psychologically than the performance it gives I just feel a lot better when I've had it it gives me a little little boost obviously the supplements do help but I just feel for me, it's definitely more of the, the placebo than the ingredients. What well, I say, the outweigh the ingredients, if that makes any sense. I'm gonna turn on the camera around, I click the button to change it, but yeah, I'm gonna have some pre workouts, grab bits together, have a little play with this guy before I head out again for some upper body trainings. So thinking back to last week's session, although I had this thought right after last week's session, is that I decided to strip things right back for this session and not try and cram all the bodybuilding work, fit the body, into one session. I just take forever. I need to remember that my goals are not physique orientated and trying to cram all in one session is a bit counterproductive for this session because this session just there is almost like a, a filler session. I much prefer training lower body. I need to remember that my goal is sort of high rocks and last week it left me feeling a bit beaten up so I couldn't really push the run on a Thursday even though no legs are used just my whole system was just a bit run down and a bit there so I decided to strip things right back go for a movement of each so one push one pull short exercise and maybe one for each one tricep exercise one bicep exercise and just go from there see, see how I feel just need to remember that yeah well, I still want to get stronger um, this block of training is more of a transition into the conditioning side of things and um, right now my chest and upper body is still feeling a bit tired from all of Monday's burpees so hopefully bench goes okay which obviously is going to be the, the push for today's session. <laughs> So that is all five sets of bench done. Pretty comfortably, although I'm very surprised how fatigued my chest is from all of Monday's burpees. Although I shouldn't really be because I've done them for a while and then doing from zero to hundred is probably the best idea, but still pleased with the bench. I almost feel that fatigue helps me feel what should be working. Like my chest literally from I did warm 60 for 10, 80 for 5, no 80 for 6, 90 for 4 and 95 but after that first set I just got a chest bump straight away let's just let this guy finish talking before we carry on Now with the main pressing done, let's move on to the pulling accessory, which is going to be single arm rows. I'm going to again just use the straps for these so I can go heavier. So a few 
why I've chosen to row as my main back exercise, my main point of movement. It's firstly my preferred accessory movement for back. Secondly, it's the opposite movement to a bench press. I just like things to be balanced. And thirdly, a lot of vertical pulling movements keep your shoulder in internal rotation. So that's when you're pressing, your shoulders are rotating the numbers. Think about it when you press internal rotation, when you pull down internal rotation time, too much of that can cause some shoulder issues. And um, tend to be what most people walk around with their shoulders hunched, do too much pressing, too much pull downs. And yeah, so did five sets of 12 and quick maths, five to six on bench and five to 12 on rowing is double the volume, which is something I like to keep, especially for vertical pressing, no, horizontal pressing and horizontal rowing. I need to remember those. But we're now upstairs onto some lean in lateral raises, got these from, oh, his butcher's name, Menno Hensman, Hensman. What it basically does is it keeps the, the um, side delt on tension throughout the whole movement, stopping just before you touch your thigh and all the way up. Top. You can do this fairly fast because it stays on tension, no real need to slow it down. But obviously, don't be an idiot and just fight through and still keep that some sort of control throughout the whole movement. And then it'll be forced to those and then onto the arm work to finish. Not sure it's just the angle, but my triceps they actually have some size to them. Anyways, this is turning into one of my favourite tricep exercises. One of the main things I like is the angle of the seat, keeping you in position, making your left leg to be lifted up when going heavy. You can also see I'm gripping the handle in a more of a neutral grip position, like if I was performing regular dips on a parallel bar. I don't even feel it so much more in the triceps. I've also found this machine is that it puts pretty much zero stress on my shoulder, which can get quite bad if I was to do regular dips. I can see it's becoming a staple movement in my arm work. Speaking of staple movements, I ended the session with some good old fashioned barbell curls for the biceps, because you just can't beat them for the arm and growth. That was a good little session now before I head home. Before I forget, I thought I'd share with you what I was listening to during that session. Recently, I've been struggling to find some decent music to listen to. I'm listening to the, a lot of the Marvel soundtracks, especially when I'm running. And yeah, I've just found it difficult to find good music to listen to. But after finishing Reacher on Amazon, if you've not seen it, I recommend go and watching it. Season 2 is just finished. But I was listening to Reacher's Blues. I don't know if that's going to that gonna focus. Good mix of sort of again blues music and just good rhythm it's been a very nice chilled session give that lesson to a very chilled playlist but right now i'm gonna finish these jelly babies i've got i think got four or five left oh it's five left bonus one four is only four and then head home back to mr odin also this side will never not be funny don't know if you can make that out there anal turn and although i don't seem to have mentally matured my training mindset has definitely matured mainly over the past I'd say 10, 12 months, I'm actually starting to listen to my body and pull back when I feel like enough's enough. But it's been more so since I've started doing high rocks training, especially during the conditioning sessions when I've felt like my, my effort isn't there. I'd rather, like I'm just holding on to get the session done rather than getting what I need and then calling it a day there. I started doing that a lot a few months ago. Same for these runs. If I need to go on a, a shorter run, I can go on a shorter run. I need to slow the pace, I need to slow the pace. And today's training being only five movements, normally I do, like last week, what, eight movements, nine movements? But yeah, definitely maturing in training. So that was a very good session. My biceps were really getting doms. I did some curls on Monday as well. But before I wrap up, before I take Odin out for a walk, because it's finally cleared up, we had another storm here in the UK with storm. Jocelyn, named after an astrophysicist, I think, or something to do with space. Don't quote me on that. I'm not the best at remembering things. But there's been two new laptops I've entered the fray. For what to get, I know my choice is terrible. Or making choices, my decision making. There we go. It is now between the Yoga Pro 9 i 16 inch, if that's going to focus, or the Yogi 9 i 2 in 1. Again, I like the touchscreen because this, this tablet's a touch screen. But then I'm also thinking, do I actually need it? I'm not gonna use any of the arty stuff to draw or anything like that on the, or the nine, I thought nine pro, nine eye processor for things like After Effects, although it's something I do wanna get into. So do I get it for that to start using that? That is the decision to make. Again, pricing's not much difference, but the, the build quality is. So I'm moving more towards the Yoga Pro 9i. 
and they're keeping this Chromebook for the drawing of things. Anyway, although I, he's half asleep, I'm gonna take him to the field for a run. Wrap this video up here. Finish off editing when I get back, but get him out of the light so we can go for a good run since it was out early this morning with him. He didn't get much of a run, so I'm gonna do that. And then I will catch you guys in the next one. It's gonna be a full body session. I'm in work all day Friday, so it's just gonna be a, a short one, I think, just training for the day, maybe. If anything comes up, it'll it'll come up. I'll, I'll show you. But I think just be training for now. Although I'm still looking at holidays to book. I've got six days to get one booked. Seven days to stay one day in January, isn't it? Anyway, I'm rambling. Enjoy us. Hit the like button if you're new. Smash subscribe. All that jazz. And as always, we will catch you in the next one. Peace. Oh yeah. Wanna go for a walk? Go for a walk? No. Wanna stay asleep? Okay, stay asleep.